You're locked into the Grizzly Digital Network. It's time for Grizzlies Live. Now, let's go live to the voice of the Grizzlies, Matt Mahoney. Welcome everybody to Grizzlies Live here at Nuke City. As always, I'm your host, Matt Mahoney, and today we're leading off with our head softball coach, Cat Allenberg. Coach, how are we doing? Excellent, Matt. How are you today? The eve I'm well. Good. Dodging raindrops out there, but let's get all the rain out of our, our out of the system. Mother today. Nature, get rid of it today. Yeah. We're on the eve of the AII softball tournament, which starts tomorrow. What's your emotions like? Are we a little excited? Oh, I'm a lot excited. Okay, good, good, good. But emotions-wise, I wouldn't say there's high-low, but excitement is definitely there. It's thrilling sure. to see all the teams get here. It's thrilling to see them in the cage and on the turf. Field starts, so it's going to be dry when we pull it later tonight or tomorrow morning, whichever it has to be. Yeah. And uh, we're ready. We're ready to go. That's awesome. We're really looking forward to it. Um, let's talk a little bit about last year's experience in yeah. hosting the AI tournament. What have you drawn from those experiences and how can you use yeah. that this week or what would you change? Well, the big thing is the amount of work that goes in behind the scenes. And so we really taught some of our athletes some of the finer points of that so that as a coaching staff, we've got a little more to say, okay, you guys do this, this, and this. And we as a staff feel like we are able to coach the team and not have to worry about other teams. You don't want to do that. I don't want to deal with other teams. I don't want to see them celebrate or cry or <laughs> anything that they have to go through. Um, so we're making sure that we're prepared in those regards. We're well, really looking forward to it. End of the regular season, now we're moving into the postseason. Yep. You've had a lot of time. You guys talk about process. Where are we at in the process and improving? Right. Do we know a strength for this team? Like when we show up tomorrow, you can hang your hat on what? Uh, it's going to be the E word. It's going to be energy. <laughs> you know, we've talked about it every day at practice. We've had eight practices since we had our last game against, um, gosh, forever ago, AUM. Yeah. And in that seventh inning of that game, we fell short, but the energy was where we needed to be even falling short in a game like that going into next week. So we're here. It is next week. It's tomorrow. <laughs> and I do believe with the practices we've had and the just the way the team's performing that they're excited to be going on the field again. Absolutely. The, the Grizzlies here coming into the, the tournament, we're going to be the three seed. Is there a team? How do you attack this bracket? There's a team right. that you compare yourself to or that you circle, right. hey, we got to beat them. How do you attack a, a 16 field? Right. I, you know, you, you have to go one game at a time. As coaches, we're looking at all six, <laughs> and including ourselves. Where do we measure um, pitching staff? What strengths and weaknesses do we carry? Line up what strengths and weaknesses do we carry? But first and foremost, tomorrow morning, 11 a.m., Kentucky Christian. How can we go out and battle the red and black and come out on top to get to that next game? Well, I want to talk a little bit about that game. Uh, we're the three seed. They're the six. Are we in the same situation we were last year? I know we were the four last year, but seating wise, record wise, to get to that national tournament. Do we have to win this tournament in order to qualify for that national tournament? 100%. There's no question that if we don't come out with that trophy in our hands on Saturday that we're, our season's over. And that's unfortunate because, again, we've played a great season. We've beaten ranked teams, number three, number 21, receiving votes in Battle 8, Battle 17, Battle 2. But those things, in the end, it was preparation for this week. So we have to really wipe the slate. It's clean. It's a 0-0 record. And you need to come out with uh, one loss at the most because two means your season's over. Is this team seasoned? Are they ready? Because Kayla said it in the senior interviews, you know, yeah. we really know what we're getting ourselves into. Now we've seen all these teams. Now we're ready. Now we're focused. What's the energy like on the girls' team leading up to practice? I defend the fortress. You know, it's it's a beautiful blessing to be able to play on our home turf and really have the comforts of home. And there are comforts within this home. You know, our locker room and our facilities and our athletic training room and the staff and what they provide to us. We won't get that anywhere we all go in the country. So we are appreciative that we get this opportunity here. And again, defend the fortress. Play your best at home. What's the timeline look like? You're gonna you get a busy schedule leading up to <laughs> less than 24 hours before first pitch here. You're going to leave the show here, and what's the plan for the yeah, rest of the day? Yeah, shout out first and foremost to Chase Hodges for <laughs> flip-flopping roles today in our lineup. Yeah. Um, but I leave right now. We practice. Practice. They're stretching right now. And so we'll do a little bit of practice. We'll hit. We'll do some turf work. We'll go pull the tarp, get the water off of it, put the tarp back on the field so that it stays dry. We'll pull the tarp around 4.30. We'll dress pretty for a banquet at 6.30. We'll know what uniform we're wearing at 7.30. And 9.15, we're on the field, ready to go. Coach, we, we cannot be any more excited about this tournament. Thanks, we're really man. looking forward to it. Um, give us some insight here. When's the last yeah. time you're going to kind of 
address the team? You're going to do it the night before, or maybe in the locker room? What's going to be that message you deliver to them? Uh, it's always after our prayer, you know, and, and the team is really, we're very methodical at home, so I don't really need to change a lot and really get them rooted up or hoosiered up, you know. Yeah. We're not an underdog. We are a good team, and we have to play like we're the best team, not just a good team. And whoever plays their best softball right now, something happens. <laughs> Uh -oh. Whoever plays their softball the best right now is they're going to come out on top, and we just hope we're ready for that challenge. Well, Coach, uh, good luck. Stay dry out there. We're Thanks, really looking Matt. forward to tomorrow. It'll be awesome. Head softball coach Kat Eilenberg here. We're going to take a break. We'll see them tomorrow, bright and early, 11 a.m. tomorrow morning, right here on the Grizzly Digital Network. When we come back, we'll have head baseball coach Brad Strongdahl right here on Grizzlies Live, the new cheatery on the Grizzly Digital Network. To gear up Grizzly fans, right now you can find all the latest Grizzly gear to support your team by visiting the Georgia Gwinnett College official bookstore inside the Student Center. Or simply shop online anytime, anywhere by visiting ggc.bncollege.com. From hats and t-shirts to jackets and one-of-a-kind collectibles, you can find it all with the official GGC bookstore. Plus, on game day, be sure to swing by the merchandise table at the stadium. So pick up your favorite item today and show your Grizzly spirit. Go Grizzlies! Hi Grizzly fans, this is Ned Colgrove, Assistant Athletics Director for External Operations. If you're looking to align your business with our Championship Athletics Program, take a look at our excellent corporate sponsorship packages. From signage around our beautiful facility to in-game and digital placement, your tax-deductible support of our program will help offer a championship experience for every student athlete. Plus, connect your brand to our growing fan base. You can find out more by checking out the corporate sponsorship brochure on grizzlyathletics.com or calling me directly at 678-407-5241. Go Grizzlies! Hello, I'm James Williams, head athletic trainer for the Georgia Gwinnett Grizzlies. Thanks to our friends at Gwinnett Medical Center, your Grizzlies receive first class quality health care right here in Gwinnett County. With daily hands-on recovery, and state-of-the-art training facilities, the Grizzlies spend more time on the field than they do on the bench. So get in the game, Grizzlies, with Gwinnett Medical Center in Duluth and in Lawrenceville. Hi, I'm Sean Gillespie, coordinator of Student Athlete Enhancement for Grizzly Athletics. At Georgia Gwinnett College, we uphold the NAI's Champions of Character values of integrity, respect, responsibility, sportsmanship, and servant leadership. It's our mission to develop lifelong leaders of character through academic and athletic excellence, producing standout citizens for our community. We want our friends, family, and community to be proud to cheer on the Grizzlies every single day. Character-driven intercollegiate athletics are what we're all about. Go Grizzlies! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to Grizzlies Live in Nuke City. We're joined now by head baseball coach, Brad Strombo. Coach, staying dry out there? Matthew, I am. What's, what's the field look like? Field's got to be in great condition, rain overnight here, we're getting ready for the AI baseball tournament starts Saturday. Any worries about the field? No. Our field is uh, perfect. Dr. Wilson has done a, did a fabulous job uh, making it. I've, I've noticed too that when you, you, you mow the grass and it, you get different designs and stuff on the field. Who, who like does that? Who comes up with that stuff? Scott Surratt. Oh, okay. He's the best. He actually sits up late at night, two, three in the morning, I'll get a text, hey, do you like this picture? Like, no, I like to sleep. <laughs> but that's what he does. He doesn't sleep. He just thinks about the field and how that's he's going to awesome. make it better. That's it's awesome. Great. Well, it looks great. It looked great yesterday, and we look forward to seeing it on Saturday. Um, last night ends the regular season. Now we turn the page over to the postseason here. We get ready with the number one team going into the AI tournament. Where are the Grizzlies at in the process? I know Coach probably does lose some sleep, whether it's Surratt texting you or going, I wish we had installed this, or I wish we were. Where are we at in the process in Coach's mind? Are we ready? You, you're never ready until you get there. As every team is new, and every team it's a first experience for them. You know, what we need to do is just prepare them as well as we possibly can, knowing the pulse of the team, what the feedback is from them, what they need to see, what we need to do from a coaching standpoint. But for the most part, we're ready. We just need to play. Yeah, looking forward to it for sure. You guys are going to have a couple of days off before we start on Saturday. What's going to be the focus here today, tomorrow, and Friday at practice? Well, you know, one of the toughest things that I have to do is, and any coach has to do if they, uh, they have to cut down to a 25-man roster. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there's a few guys that have been with us all year that um, 
for one reason or another aren't going to be able to be on that roster. They'll still be with us. They'll still be, you know, around. But um, that's that's what the process is today. Um, and then um, what we'll do is this afternoon we'll meet with a 25 man. We'll talk to them about. Uh, it's a new season. It's a new season. It's a. It's it's that's the group of kids that's going to go into the conference tournament, try to win the conference tournament, and um, you know we'll talk about some stuff about how we need to prepare mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, and just go and, and see what we need to do and go have a nice practice after that. You talked about being prepared. Last year is our first season of NAI postseason eligibility. We learned all about this fun stuff with the AI. What did you learn from last year's AI tournament, those experiences, and what can you translate into this year? The competitiveness. A lot of what we did last year, AI tournament, regional, World Series was observation. Yeah. What the other teams are about, what that conference tournament's about, how intense the regional is, and then what the players are like at the World Series. And that's kind of the, the scope of it because at the World Series, you're looking at what do the other teams have that we don't? What do we have that they don't? And you know, what do we need to recruit in the future to get back sure. here? You know, and the regional's just straight up hit them in the mouth as much many times as you can and try to knock them down because it's a short tournament. Yeah. A short tournament I think that we're really good in. Um, and the AI tournament's a long tournament. Right. So you gotta win four or five games in the AI tournament. If you're the one seed in the regional, you only have to win three consecutive. So it's two different philosophies, especially with how you use your pitching early right. in the AI tournament. And a lot of that stuff is how we're, what we're gonna discuss um, you know, today um, with our team. I know what I learned, and I may have to lean on you here this week coming up, is as messed up as that AI bracket is with that 16, no buys, double elimination. So if, if you get a jersey tug on Sunday or Monday, I, I, I may be a little lost. You may need to help me with that bracket. Well, that's fine. We can do that. Hopefully we just keep going on the winner's bracket and just keep going through. So that'll make the, at least that issue easy for you. But, um, you know, it, it's, part of, it's part of the game, and there's a lot of teams in the country that have to play in a 16 tournament. Yeah. And, you know, Hopefully you're as smart as those people and you can figure it out. Uh, I, I, I got the utmost faith I in you. I hope. Uh, the Grizzlies are the number one seed, just like they were last year. This year is a different story. We're ranked a little bit higher in a national poll. Mm -hmm. What's interesting is this still this team still controls its own destiny. I mean, you, you go through this week, next week, whatever the case may be, is that kind of the message you're delivering to the team at this point? Yeah, about three weeks ago we talked about, hey, let's try to get to be the number one or two seed. You know, we lost a couple of games uh, due to rain and due to weather um, throughout the course of that. Um, and, and I didn't think it would quite get this high, but, you know, we're in a very fortunate position moving forward. If we can win the, the AI tournament, I still think we're in the top three. Uh, we win the regional, I still think we're in the top three. And if somehow you can manage to be in the top two in the country in the coaches' poll, um, you get you get a buy yeah. at the World Series. And, and the buy is huge because three teams are already eliminated by the time you finish your first game. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, and then it's a seven-team tournament. It just gives you that that boot, that added, added just advantage. Yeah, it's absolutely. Um, but even if we're three, if you go to the World Series, you want to be ranked one through six. Uh, because that day, if you win your first game, you have a bye. The next day, you have two days off. So um, I, I think that we've set ourselves up in a good position, um, whether it's the one, two, three, four, five, six. It, it's kind of irrelevant right now. We yeah. still have to take care of business. Um, but we've done what we needed to do to this point, and now we need to win. So it sounds like to me, this time of the year, you're wearing a lot of hats. So you got to coach a little bit. You got to prepare the grass. We got to yeah. be a bracketologist well, as well, and then a, me the and then a the meteorologist the as well. Yeah. Well, the meteorologist is easy. Okay. Yeah. We got, I got a new weather <laughs> app. It's called Ooh. Storm Underground. It's fantastic. Dollar right. ninety nine. iTunes. Put the money in there. It's fantastic. What's uh? Give me some insight. Look into the program here. When you get the team together, whether it's Friday night or Saturday before the game, we're going to play the first game of the AI tournament at noon. What's that last message you're going to deliver to the team before they go out there and play? Uh, it won't be. I, I won't have any. I'll just give them high fives. Let's go play. Have some fun. It's, uh, there, there's nothing. The time for talking is today and tomorrow. And then, you know, once Friday and Saturday get here, it's just a matter of, hey, you know what? Let's just, let's just play. Let's have fun. Let's be loose because we don't we don't have to be tight in the right. tournament. We can just go out there and play because we know that we're guaranteed a berth into the uh, the regional, which is then maybe have a final message <laughs> before that game on Tuesday. But, sure. um, you know, we just need to play our game. We need to play loose. We need to have fun. We need to enjoy ourselves. We need to enjoy each other um, and see what happens at the end of the day. Well, Coach, again, we're looking forward to it on Saturday, first game, 12 o'clock. Good luck. 
Thank you. Thanks for coming by the show today. Absolutely. Appreciate it. We'll take a break. We'll come back with the head men's and women's tennis coach, Chase Hodges. You're watching Grizzlies Live at Nuke Cedar on the Grizzly Digital Network. Do you have what it takes to compete for the Georgia Gwinnett Grizzlies? Hi, this is Dr. Ian Potter, Assistant Athletics Director for Compliance and Academic Services. If you are interested in becoming a Grizzly through character-driven intercollegiate athletics, visit grizzlyathletics.com and then look under the student athlete section. We offer opportunities to students both near and far to pursue academic and athletic excellence here at Dynamic Georgia Gwinnett College. Find out more today about wearing the green and gray at grizzlyathletics.com. Go Grizzlies! Hi Grizzly fans, this is Ned Colgrove, Assistant Athletics Director for External Operations. Are you interested in helping offer a championship experience for every single one of our student athletes? Come join us in the Grizzly Club. You can call me directly at 678-407-5241 to learn more or see our Grizzly Club information online at grizzlyathletics.com. There you can check out our member benefits like game tickets and insider events, plus make your online donation. We can't wait to have your support of our student athletes and welcome you to the Grizzly Club. The Georgia Gwinnett Grizzlies compete in the heart of Gwinnett County in Metro Atlanta. The Grizzlies currently field six teams and compete at the state-of-the-art Grizzly Athletics Complex. Georgia Gwinnett College is transforming higher education and celebrating 10 years since its charter class in 2005. As you plan your next trip to see the Grizzlies, log on to grizzlyathletics.com and select the Visitor's Guide. From driving directions to local points of interest and a listing of our proud sponsors, log on to grizzlyathletics.com. Hello. I'm James Williams, head athletic trainer for the Georgia Gwinnett Grizzlies. Thanks to our friends at Gwinnett Medical Center, your Grizzlies receive first class quality health care right here in Gwinnett County. With daily hands-on recovery and state-of-the-art training facilities, the Grizzlies spend more time on the field than they do on the bench. So get in the game, Grizzlies, with Gwinnett Medical Center in Duluth and in Lawrenceville. It's time to gear up, Grizzly fans. Right now, you can find all the latest Grizzly gear to support your team by visiting the Georgia Gwinnett College official bookstore inside the Student Center. Or simply shop online anytime, anywhere by visiting ggc.bncollege.com. From hats and t-shirts to jackets and one-of-a-kind collectibles, you can find it all with the official GGC bookstore. Plus, on game day, be sure to swing by the merchandise table at the stadium. So pick up your favorite item today and show your Grizzly spirit. Go Grizzlies! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to Grizzlies Live in Nuke Cedar. We're joined now by head tennis coach, Chase Hodges. Coach, how we doing today? Doing great, Matt. Can't looking, complain. Looking sharp, man. I like it. I'm trying. Hey, it's just... Grizzlies live, you gotta look good. Postseason too. We got Absolutely. The regular season's over. We got postseason mode. Step our game up. Let's step the game up. Now's right, the I time. Like it. I like it. Yep. Well, um, rainy day today. I don't know what practice looks like for you guys, but yeah. 13 days before the national tournament. What's sure. uh, where's your mentality at right now? We are getting ready today with the rain. We'll do some conditioning. Uh, not taking really many days off because we need to make sure that we're prepared. We're still doing our morning conditioning, morning workouts. Um, now's the time where we're uh, hitting it hard and trying to get better. So, uh, you know, ladies had a nice win last week over Bernal. Men picked up a good win over Emory. So we have been able to pick up some nice victories to prepare us for nationals. We'll talk about the men here in a minute. Let's talk about yeah. the women first here. All the way back in January, I told yeah. you that the Grizzly women's <laughs> tennis team would be eight and six. So what yeah. was your response to me? Well, I think uh, – I, I probably would have expected a lot more wins, but we've had a lot of rainouts. Uh, wow. I think that maybe you know 13 and six, something like that, would have been a little bit more uh, expectation-wise. You know, the, the losses that we do have, I'd say that uh, in all those matches, the other team was probably the favorite. So uh, I'm not really too surprised on that end. But at the end of the day, I mean, we're undefeated against NAI competition. Yeah. Uh, we've beaten two top five NAI programs. Um, so. You know, we still got that one seed heading in. That's all that matters. And, and you mentioned it there, and I want to follow up here. The, the record is more an indication of who you played, right. not how well we played. Right. I mean, we played the most difficult schedule in the country, for sure. So, um, you know, that's going to help us heading into nationals. I, I really feel that our women's team, especially from an NAI perspective, yeah. uh, truly believes that they can beat any team. So. 
you know, that's half the battle right now, right there. If you have a team that believes, then yeah. you know, you're doing something right. A pair of top five wins versus SCAD, and then most recently you mentioned versus Bernal, who's number three. Yeah. How did that win last Friday set the tone for this team going into the NAI National Championships? It was big because, you know, it kind of put us back into that mindset of, you know, we can win this. Yeah. You know, we needed that win from a confidence standpoint. Our number one player, Valeria Apoda, continues to get it done. Uh, you know, she picked up a big win for us. Anytime that she's winning matches, I think it kind of goes to the rest of the lineup. They start feeling, okay, you know, Val's getting it done in the top spot. We need to get it done. So, um, all in all, you know, our doubles performances are getting better. So, we'll be ready when it counts. On the uh, men's side of things sure. here, you've said it all year long. As well as they've played at times, they've elevated their game against high competition but they want to peak at the right time. Are they starting to peak? Yes, uh, we were definitely peaking at the right time. I think this is our best tennis that we play it all season. Uh, we want to continue it. Uh, you know, we, we beat a very good Emory team, 8-1. Um, you know, I'm very confident that the uh, men will be ready just like they were last year. Uh, you know, last season we went in as that three seed. Yeah. Going in as the one mentally is a little bit different, but we're still trying to find a chip on our shoulder Absolutely. because that's what we need. I, I smile when you say that, that, that we're playing our best tennis right now. And I just think back of, we beat the Division Two defending national champion, a couple of top ten teams in yeah. Division Two, and to think that as well as we played there, we're playing better than that right now as we've gone coast to coast as the number one team in the NAI. Well, it would be nice to be able to say we started the year at one and finished at one. And I tell the team, you know, last year Emory Riddle went in as the number one seed on the men's side. They lost in the final. Uh, on the women's side, Xavier went in as the one. They lost in the semifinal. So I can't harp enough how difficult it is wow. to start at number one, enter the tournament as the number one, and actually win that event. So. You know, that's our challenge, yeah, is uh, being able to do that. And it hadn't been done very often, so that's kind of yeah. our motto. Well, uh, we're looking forward to it. 13 days before that national yeah. tournament starts in Mobile, Alabama. Both men's and women's Are teams you gonna be there? going to the top seed. I, let me ask my question first, because I okay. want to follow up with that, okay? Both teams going in as the top seed, Mobile, yeah. Alabama, in 13 days. What can the team do, what can coach do to prepare them between now and and that first well, we've song. already started it. We're, you know, the morning conditioning, we're not going to stop that. We've yeah. got to continue to be fit. One thing I can guarantee is our team will be as fit as any team there. So, uh, you know, we won't have to worry about staying out there for three or four hours. Yeah. You know, we're going to have the fitness level to do that. Mobile is very hot. Yeah. Uh, it's not a, a place where you're going to get much of a breeze. So you're going to have to be, you know, ready for those conditions. So. You know, everything else in terms of, you know, the players are going to have to step up and get that part done in terms of the actual match and, and, and bringing it when, it when it's needed most. So I feel confident in this group, and it's just a matter of putting them in a position, making sure they feel prepared, and going out there and getting it done. Go ahead. Ask your question. So we are leaving on Sunday, May 10th. We got the okay. uh, NAI banquet okay. on Monday, May 11th. The actual first round is on Tuesday, May 12th. Correct. Uh, we'll have a bye in that first round, so we'll, we'll play our round of 16 match on that Wednesday. Okay. I'd love for GDN to be there. I, I, I haven't gotten, I haven't really heard yet. We haven't got confirmation. So, okay. so this is like the, the Adam Schefter inside reporting. It's not sure. always true. Fast and fast and you know, fast and, and news is not always accurate. And, sure. You know, and so, sure. so this, this is what I can tell you. So this week we're tackling both conference no. tournaments and baseball and softball right. at the same time. Right. The same time you guys will be in Mobile, Alabama, we'll be here hosting the regional for baseball. Right. That's still two places at the exact same time. Right. I don't see why we can't do it. Hey, I'm expecting. I mean, you, are you? You're not a one-man show. You got a great staff here. I, I can I'm make this work. I, I, I'm not the only one that, that does this. So I know. I, I think mean, we can make it work. Okay, I'm looking. I don't forward know the to details it. yet. But, Let's make it work. But but this just in breaking news. Well, breaking news is my team performs much better when you're there. Oh, now, now and we the, go. the GDN's now, there. here we go. I don't know what it is, but uh, it's just... It did kinda, Jordan tell kinda, you that? Jordan told you that. Jordan did not tell me that, but it kind of happened last year when the Grizzly Digital Network was there. God, that was so much fun. Uh, we won two national championships. God, it was so much fun. I'm so, not going you know, I'd hate to say if you as, guys as aren't there, what as would I, I mean, as professional as I try to remain at all times, Personally, that was so much fun last year, man. Well, that's this is. I'm hoping we can duplicate it, and hopefully, you guys will be there. Stand right. at the Renaissance River Walk, <laughs> downtown Mobile. Beautiful down there. So that's what we're saying. I mean, the amenities they just keep coming here. Hey, they just it's a keep good coming. spot. So hopefully, we can make this work. All right, I'll, I'll let you leave on this note, okay? Uh -huh. And Matt Mahoney is not an appropriate answer for this, okay? okay. 
Finish this sentence. Yep. Chase Hodges will return for Mobile with. Oh, man. Um, you know, I think we'll get a national championship. Uh, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say we're going to win two. But, uh, you know, I don't know if it's going to be the men or the women. But I think we will have a championship. If we can get two, that'd be insane. We come back with nothing. You know, hopefully we'll have good memories or, you know, to, <laughs> you know, but, you know, our goal is to win one, win both, come back with a title. You know, it's, uh, I'm not going to sit here and say that's not the goal because that's been the goal since day one. Yeah. So, you know, that's my hope. Hopefully we'll get it done. Chase, yep. looking forward to it, my man. Hey, appreciate thanks, it. Thanks for dropping by. Yep. We'll take a break and put a nice little bow on this show. You're watching Grizzlies Live at Nuke City on the Grizzly Digital Network. Hi, I'm Sean Gillespie, coordinator of student athlete enhancement for Grizzly Athletics. At Georgia Gwinnett College, we uphold the NAI's champions of character, values of integrity, respect, responsibility, sportsmanship, and servant leadership. It's our mission to develop lifelong leaders of character through academic and athletic excellence, producing standout citizens for our community. We want our friends, family, and community to be proud to cheer on the Grizzlies every single day. Character-driven intercollegiate athletics are what we're all about. Go Grizzlies! Hi Grizzly fans, this is Ned Colgrove, Assistant Athletics Director for External Operations. Are you interested in helping offer a championship experience for every single one of our student athletes? Come join us in the Grizzly Club. You can call me directly at 678-407-5241 to learn more or see our Grizzly Club information online at grizzlyathletics.com. There you can check out our member benefits like game tickets and insider events Plus, make your online donation. We can't wait to have your support of our student athletes and welcome you to the Grizzly Club. It's time to gear up, Grizzly fans. Right now, you can find all the latest Grizzly gear to support your team by visiting the Georgia Gwinnett College official bookstore inside the Student Center. Or simply shop online anytime, anywhere by visiting ggc.bncollege.com. From hats and t-shirts to jackets and one-of-a-kind collectibles, you can find it all with the official GGC Bookstore. Plus, on game day, be sure to swing by the merchandise table at the stadium. So pick up your favorite item today and show your Grizzly spirit. Go Grizzlies! Hi Grizzly fans, this is Ned Colgrove, Assistant Athletics Director for External Operations. If you're looking to align your business with our Championship Athletics Program, take a look at our excellent corporate sponsorship packages. From signage around our beautiful facility to in-game and digital placement, your tax-deductible support of our program will help offer a championship experience for every student athlete. Plus, connect your brand to our growing fan base. You can find out more by checking out the corporate sponsorship brochure on grizzlyathletics.com or calling me directly at 678-407-5241. Go Grizzlies! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to Grizzlies Live at New York City. Big thanks to Brad, Cat, and Chase for being on the show here. It's a hectic time for them. they got a lot to prepare for and a lot to do, and taking time out to be on the show uh, means a whole heck of a lot to me. A big thanks to Bill and Greg here, the great staff at Nukes. They put up with us every Wednesday. We've been getting tremendous feedback from not only the great folks here at Nukes, but the people that come and watch the show. They swing by here during the week. And so uh, thanks to all you that make uh, this partnership with Nukes a very special one. Um, with it being said, tomorrow starts all of the AII fun. Softball will play at 11 a.m. tomorrow versus Kentucky Christian. You can watch that game and the entire AI softball tournament on the Grizzly Digital Network. It'll be a pay-per-view cost. So you can buy a single tournament, or excuse me, a single game for $7.95 or the tournament pass for $19.95. All that information will be on grizzlyathletics.com later on today and, of course, tomorrow morning. Uh, live stats will be available for free to everyone there as well. Uh, Grizzly Baseball will begin their AII tournament on Saturday. Grizzly Baseball will be in action at 12 o'clock, and they will take on Ashford. We'll have the pregame coverage starting literally five minutes before the broadcast at 11.55. Chris Casey will uh, more than likely have that call. Be flexible with us here. i got Chris Casey, John Peters coming into town to help me out with the calls. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, Myron told me yesterday, uh, one of our uh, cameramen here, 22 games in six days is what we're going to broadcast covering the AI tournament. I get deer in the headlight look from my crew back here <laughs> behind the scenes right now. But we're really looking forward to it again. 
exclusive video streaming right here on the Grizzly Digital Network Baseball Tournament, also a pay-per-view cost as well. Grizzly men's and women's tennis will hit Mobile, Alabama, May 12th through the 16th. We're really looking forward to both those teams defending their national championships. The women will be the number one team in the country, and the men will also be the number one team in the country heading in to Mobile. Really looking forward to that. And again, we'll keep you posted on any coverage that we have here on the Grizzly Digital Network. Our tweet of the week comes from another great partnership in Stretch Internet. These guys are our host broadcast uh, online providers. And so they use their Twitter account to hit us up as they were watching the Grizzly softball team during a rain delay versus Faulkner last week. And so they sent us a tweet and thought it was pretty cool during a softball rain delay. They were playing a little football and we were having fun with it on the broadcast as well. And so they sent out a tweet and it was a lot of fun uh, that day as well. Um, the hashtag took me a minute there to pick up on. That's a Peyton Manning reference with the Denver Broncos, the Omaha call there. So it uh, took me a minute to figure out that one too. But uh, big thanks to Stretch Internet, and they're going to be with us the whole step of the way for this AII tournament coming up. Grizzlies Live, we're going to take, uh, we'll be back in action next Wednesday. We'll wrap up the AI tournament, get you ready for all the national tournaments. Really looking forward to that episode as well with all of our head coaches. That'll do it here, folks. Today is just day one of seven in a row. We're going to be on air all week long on the Grizzly Digital Network. Emphatic thumbs up from the crew. They're ready for it. Whether the smiles are genuine or not, we'll find out about Sunday or Monday. But really looking forward to uh, broadcasting uh, literally 22 games in six days right here on the Grizzly Digital Network. And I couldn't do it without those guys right there and gals that are uh, behind the scenes working hard here. Clay, you want to squeeze in here? Thumbs up from Clay. He's been busy as well. He's going to be just as busy as we are. Grizzlyathletics.com. Can't express that enough. All the updates, results, and information for all the AII tournaments. That'll do it. For our entire cast and crew from Nuke City in Lawrenceville, Georgia, I'm Matt Mahoney. We'll see you tomorrow, folks, on the Grizzly Digital Network. We'd like to thank our corporate sponsors for making today's broadcast possible. You can watch archive broadcasts and feature stories in the On Demand tab of the Grizzly Digital Network. For the most recent information, log on to grizzlyathletics.com.